Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Saturday. Today is Saturday and it is the first day of October uh, and it is good to start the day with all of you. Uh, the song I chose was off of uh, Selah's album, You Deliver Me, uh, and that was How Deep the Father's Love for Us. How deep the Father's love for us. Today we're going to be looking at Ephesians chapter 3, beginning in verse 16. Ephesians 3, 16. But let me say good morning to the Saturday crew. <laughs> good morning, Barbara and Donna. It's good to have you here this morning. And Gail and Ernestine, I'm glad you're with us as well. Praying for all of you. Uh, good morning, Macon. And Michelle, I'm glad you're here, holding you both in prayer. And Augusta, as well as Debbie, I'm glad you're here, praying for both of you. And Genevieve and Susan, welcome, holding you in prayer. In, in, sorry, in prayer. I'm, I'm saying names as I'm speaking, sorry. Janet, I was saying prayer and Janet at the same time. Uh, good morning, Janet and Shelly. I'm glad you're here as well, holding you both in prayer um, as we start our day together. It's good to be with all of you. 
So today's devotion is entitled True Intimacy, True Intimacy. And our scripture this morning comes from Ephesians 3, beginning in verse 16. So if you want to open up your Bibles to Ephesians 3, good morning, Lisa. It's good to have you here praying for you today. Um, so as you turn to Ephesians 3, uh, my name is Cindy Stauffer. Um, planets is a nice combo. <laughs> um, and I serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church in New Brunswick, we are on the corner of George and Liberty Street, across from the State Theater, the Heldridge, the Performing Arts Center, right in the center of uh, the city of New Brunswick. And uh, we we believe that we are called to shine the light of Christ out into our city. Uh, so praying for all of you. Yes, it is it is a rainy cold. We're getting the remnants of EM today. So uh, and probably tomorrow as well. But it's good to start the day with all of you. So let's take a look at Ephesians 3, beginning in verse 16. I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through the Spirit and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Some, translation, <coughs> some translations use perfect love within the midst of that. Uh, <coughs> so that you may come to know the perfect love of Christ. So, true intimacy. This comes from uh, Henry Nouwen's Bread for the Journey. Human relationships, and we talked about possess, possessing the non-possessive life yesterday. Today, our focus is on relationships. Human relationships easily become possessive. Our hearts so much desire to be loved that we are inclined to, to cling to the person who offers us love, affection, friendship, care, or support. Once we have seen or felt a hint of love, we want more of it. That explains why lovers so often bicker with each other. Lovers' quarrels are quarrels between people who want more of each other than they are able or willing to give. It is very hard for love not to become possessive because our hearts look for perfect love and no human being is capable of that. Only God can offer perfect love. Therefore, the art of loving includes the art, <clears throat> the art of giving one another space. When we invade one another's space and do not allow the other to be his or her own free person, we cause great suffering in our relationships. But when we give another space to move and share our gifts, true intimacy becomes possible. Yes. So um, when Steve and I got married 26 years ago, uh, we had a reading uh, from the prophet. Uh, I don't know if it was from the prophet. Well, uh, Khal Khalil Gibran, it was on on, um, I think it was on marriage. I think that was the name of it. 
Anyway, it talked about how the pillar, the temple is built on these pillars that stand apart and yet still stand near one another, but, but they leave space for the other. Um, and that was something that was really important because early in our relationship, probably like many relationships, uh, we had lost that space and it just didn't feel right. I thought to myself, I feel like I'm losing myself. I don't feel like the Cindy that was before. And we had a chance to kind of reboot and start again and start making sure that we left space in our lives so that each of us could grow into the person that God was calling us to be um, with one another, but not crowding one another. This was like a really important thing for me um, as we started our life together. And uh, I, I tell that, I told you this yesterday, that I tell this to couples as well. Like it's, it is really important because in that space, that is where God dwells too. And if we are so enmeshed in a relationship that there is no room for God, we will fail. Um, because there will be days when we cannot be what the other person needs, nor should we always be what someone else needs. Because what truthfully, what all of us need, the perfect love that each one of us needs, comes from God. We may work towards it. We may long for to be able to be perfect love, but we will never be able to reach perfect love, that perfect love. Um, and it is the same for our children and our grandchildren. Um, we love them, but it is not perfect. Um, and so we've got to leave space in all of our relationships, maybe it's friendships too, right? Like it doesn't have to be romantic relationships. It can be friendships um, where we where we cling to one another um, because we're so afraid of being alone uh, that we push the other person away. And that is not true intimacy. True intimacy says, I, I, I see you. Um, and and I am my person, and you are the are the person that God. I'm the person that God calls beloved. God calls you beloved too, and and we can come together, but um, we don't cling and kind of. Uh, it's almost um, I don't want to say violent because that then you know I'm not talking about physical violence, although it is domestic violence. Awareness Month, um, but I'm talking about a violence that says I need, like, like I need you to do this for me. You, you've got to fulfill everything for me. That is not a healthy relationship, uh, and that is not what God wants for us. God wants to be the perfect love in the midst of our relationships. So, this is very wordy today. I apologize, but. I, I do think it is very important because I see a lot of clinging in the world around us. Uh, this this desire for, for someone else to, to fulfill everything for me. Uh, and sometimes it's our stuff and sometimes it's our relationships. So um, today I'm lifting up all of your relationships. Uh, I did this yesterday as well, but lifting up just relationships today. The 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 people that you are um, in some sort of relationship, whether it's a romantic relationship or whether it is, um, you know, friendship, praying that, that you will find healthy ways to come together, understanding uh, and seeing the fullness of the person that is with you uh, and, uh, and acknowledging that space between that allows for true connection. True connection is a coming together, not a 
pulling at one another. It's a true coming together. And when God is at the center, that that can happen. And that can happen in healthy, good ways. Um, so lifting up all of your relationships this day, that the person, persons that you are walking with, uh, that they are healthy um, relationships in which you can experience the perfect love that God has for you and for the other person. So let us pray. God, we come before you today longing, longing to be in relationships that bring meaning, that bring deeper connection, that bring true intimacy, a true coming together with you at the heart of it. Lord, we acknowledge that sometimes we have um, clung to our friends and to our spouses, feeling as if we just need more, more love from them, more understanding from them, more attention from them, more of so much. And that they are not always able to fulfill the way that you do. So guide us this way into healing relationships, relationships that leave space that we might each be who we are created to be and that through your love we might come together in ways that, that make for true connection and true intimacy and perfect love. We ask all of this in your name, Lord Jesus, the one who showed us what perfect love looked like as you shared with your, your disciples these words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So, um, praying today that uh, as you move through your day, uh, the relationships in your life will be filled with, with true uh, intimacy and deep meaning. Um, and that God will be at the center of all of them. God loves you and so do I. Uh, I want to invite you to come and be with us in church tomorrow. We will be uh, celebrating World Communion Sunday, new member. We've got six new members that are joining our faith community. Um, and uh, we're going to be finishing up our series on King David uh, with a sermon called Affirmed and just talking about the journey into living into what it is that God's called us to. Uh, so I hope you can come and be a part, uh, whether you're in person or you're watching uh, on our live stream. I look forward to being with you tomorrow at 11. Uh, have a very blessed day. Uh, stay dry out there. Bye, friends. <laughs>